ശ്രീമാത്രെ നമഃ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് വേൾഡ് ഇൻ ലളിത സഹസ്രനാമം ശ്രീമാത ശ്രീ ആസ്പീഷ്യസ് മാത മദർ വി ആൾ നോ ദാറ്റ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദ ഡിഫറൻസ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ എ നോർമൽ ഫിസിക്കൽ മദർ ആൻഡ് ദിസ് മദർ ഈസ് മദർ എനിവേർ മദർ തത്വ മാതൃതത്വ ഈസ് അൺകണ്ടീഷണൽ ലവ് ദാറ്റ് കെ നോട്ട് ബി ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ whoever it is mother loves without any condition that being the case the physical mother's love is mostly limited to the own family members but this mother is universal mother vedadi jagat prasuhu viyat adi jagat prasuhu she has created so many worlds so many creatures charachar vastu prapancha and she is also termed as a brahma kirdanni so she is the universal mother jagati kanda she is the root from which everything else has come out like from bindu the sri yantra has been formed so that be in the case this universal mother's love is unparalleled and is distributed to everyone without any conditions or any restrictions even the atheist will receive her blessing in the same way as she is blessing the upasaka so mata is mother and the greatness of lalita sahasrama is the character the tatva of lalita I mean i should not say character the tatva of lalita is first given whenever you introduce yourself to someone else how do we introduce i am so and so i am subarao i am working here i am a brahmin i am a hindu i am an indian these are our identities which we make but the greatness of lalita is she introduced herself hi i am sri mata and the universal mother the motherhood is the tatva that gives us a message that as a jeeva we should be known not by the name not by the caste not by the status in the society but by our tatva oh that person i know him i don't know his name but he is very kind very lovable and um, i'm so comfortable with him these are the qualities which you need to be introducing to the world about us that's what she says like a lamp you don't need to call i mean say oh that is a lamp lamp is known by its glow the radiance similarly manava is our the gana's name manava gana ganana hantva ganapati ngavamehe kavingavinam upamasravastamam ganapati is there are different ganas manusha gana deva gana rakshasa gana vriksha gana kitaka gana pakshi gana jantu gana all these ganas a group of creatures ganapati is the king so anyhow manava humanity so we should be known first by our humanity human nature the human nature is the difference between animal and human animal predicts danger and get itself prepared when it sees other animal it you know it prepares for a fight that is the animal but by him sometimes unfortunately we also behave in the same way we say oh that person is bad this person is bad this way you cannot believe him we cannot be careful all these things we do that is not so manava tatva is loving everyone and sharing the joy sharing the asset that is the mana manava is a colonial word they used to live in colonies age old there is no relationship only one cooking even very recently like 50 years back there were agraharas there is only one place where they used to cook and everybody used to dine that was our culture manava culture but where is it gone now we are not even uh, giving uh, sharing our food with someone else most of us so manava tatvam is sharing the joy sharing the asset should be first be introducing ourselves to the world as an upasaka what are the qualities we have that should be introduced the mrudutvam lalitvam then unconditional love unparalleled compassion unlimited devotion undeterred focus these are the qualities with which we should be known not by our name so that is what she says and when does she say say her name shri lalita ambika at the end 
she describes everything about her and then say, oh, that's me who is called Laritamba. What a graceful description she has. That is the quality. Even Hanuman, when Ravana asked him in the Sri Lanka, in the first introduction, who are you? Anybody remember what is his reply? He says, Dasoham Kosale Indrasya. That means he doesn't even say, hi, I'm a Hanuman, glad to meet you. doesn't say that. He says, I don't have a name. Dasoham Kosale Indrasya. And he doesn't even tell the name of his boss also. Kosala Raja, his servant I am. That is the greatness of That's why Hanuma is noted for his devotion. So we should be same. Lalita Kutumbam. My aim is at least somewhere down the road, I should see a small, if not a big Lalita Kutumbam, where everybody combined. That's why this WhatsApp group uh, is formed. Everybody shares their opinion. No differences. That is what she is expecting from us. So, Mata is one meaning universal mother and that is also explained in uh, Sri Chakra Navavarana Puja. He says, Anta Shushumnam Sarva Bhuta Hrachakrasta Manta Shushumnam Padmadavi Behedana Kusalam Mohandakara Paribandini Samvidignim Sivadi Jyoti Siddhrupinim Adiparasam Vidam Sri Laltayana Madhyayami Maha Padmavanantaste Karananda Vigrehe Sarva Bhuta Hite Mataha That is the word. Sarva Bhuta Hite Mataha So she is the mother for every creature and the mother's nature is, she doesn't even feel that it's a great thing. We do a small uh, job and then we constantly say, oh, I, I did it, I did this, I did this, it, as if it's a great thing. But she helps the whole universe and sustains it, creates it. But still, she doesn't express it. That is the Mata nature. Mata nature is, it uh, comes as a, a natural quality, not an artificial uh, manners what we have in our society right now. The manners is artificial only. It should come as a natural quality. Mata is another uh, meaning for it. That thing which cannot be measurable. That means her compassion cannot be measured. The greatness of mother is when we are a child, she wakes us up and feeds even though we don't cry because it's food time, feeding time. But when we grow big, when we get some fever, even if you roll on the ground crying, she will not give us any food because food at that time is bad for us. Similarly, we should understand mother, what is necessary for us is already given, is being given by her, whether we ask or not. What is not necessary, what is not good for us, she will not give even if you do hundreds of hundreds of yagas. Maybe at the end, she may give, like, you know, the Rakshasas, the demons, they did tapas. They didn't uh, give the liberty to the mother. They didn't ask, oh, please bless me, whatever is good for me, you give. They asked, demanded Shiva and uh, Vishnu, uh, I should be living forever, nobody should kill me. Like that, they put the conditions. So what they did finally, even though it's not good for them, they have no other go because bhakti vashya. So, ultimately it is given, but finally that led to their destruction. So, as an upasaka, we should understand that everything is sarvajna sandra karana. She knows what is necessary for us. Yesterday I didn't tell Lalita Sasna meaning is because I don't know anything about her. All I know is Rimadha is the universal mother. But I should get, you know, the intuition to talk about her. She should give that to me. So I wait. Even if I miss a day, that's fine. I don't want to refer the books and then tell. So, Sri Mata is that thing which is, which cannot be measured. And of course, literal meaning is Sri denotes Lakshmi, Sri denotes Saraswati. So she is the mother of Lakshmi and Saraswati also. In fact, she is the mother of everything. Brahma, Vishnu, Maheshwaras, Mahalakshmi, Mahasaraswati, Mahakali, everything is, she is the mother. So, naturally the mother will be much more powerful than the child, right? So, Lakshmi, auspiciousness, wealth, well, Lalita is more powerful. Education, knowledge, supreme knowledge, pure knowledge, Suddha Jnanam, well, Lalita. So, it's a one-stop you just recite Lalita Sasanam every day, morning and evening, at least in the morning. 
that takes care of you i tell the people don't limit it to friday some people say oh we recite on friday as if other days we don't need protection from her no lalita says namam is a package bundle so sri is saraswati and lakshmi she is the mother of her. and also sri is having another meaning of poison sri is also poison sri mata mati muti the one who has a held the poison in his neck is rudra rudra's concert is parvati that is lalita so in that way sri mata the one who takes care of us even in the utmost dangerous situations is sri mata when the hala hala was coming out of shila sagaram nobody was daring to take it and then the rudra uh, goes to madam parvati and asks her can i take it that is why in potana bhagavatam in telugu there is a wonderful shloka mingedi vaadu vibhundaniyu aa mingedi digaralamaniyu aa minguta porula melu konaganiyu mingumani sarva mangala mangala sutra manantha madinnamina dokada so shiva is asking holding the glass of uh, you know garala absolute poison can i drink it so there is a dilemma for parvati now that person who is asking the question is her own husband and then what he is asking permission not not to drink coffee or tea is poison the greatest poison anybody can think of and what for he is drinking not for his health or for his ganesha or subramanya for the whole universe porula the others welfare but then parvati says okay you can drink the confidence she has is because of the mangala sutram the marriage symbol which we south india and north india many people so that's why they say we should never never take it out under any circumstances scanning or anything like that you should never take it out that being the case so the one who holds garala in the neck and his concert is parvati so the one who takes care of us in the most dangerous situations is sri mata and another meaning is auspicious mata is auspicious anyhow but sri mata is auspicious mother even the normal physical mother like kaika kaikeyi sometimes can behave against the dharmas and do some things which are not good for her, right she is asked a, a boon from dasarada which is not actually good for this bharata because she is a physical mother but this mother will give every moment every nanosecond always auspicious thoughts auspicious words auspicious actions only what we need to is as i always tell get connected to her yes by mere thought and that takes care of us shri matri namaha